I love this question. People get this wrong all the time. And it's so funny to me because it's it's easy, but it goes to show we we don't really learn statistics in school because some basic concepts are just not memorized. The frequency table summarizes the 57 data values in your data set. What is the maximum data value in the data set? It's 14. That's it. That's the whole thing. Why is that the maximum data value? Because it says data values at the top, and that's the maximum number. That's the that's the biggest one. And we know that there's at least one 14. There's six in this set, right? So if the if the set cut off here, then we'd have a problem because then 13 looks like the maximum, but there's zero of them. So it's not the maximum. That's a trap, right? So that would that would be what happens if if the, the set cuts off early, but it doesn't. So that trap is avoided. But most people here, the real trap is they put 11. I think because they are thinking of the mode, right? They, they think maximum, I guess, means most common, but no, the maximum is the highest number, right? Like literally, like what is the highest data value in the set? Maximum is just a synonym for highest. So I, 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 I don't know. I'm literally speechless just thinking about people getting this wrong, but it happens constantly. I teach this question with my students all the time. And uh, they get it wrong. They pick 11. And so if that's you, then you get, should just do a basic review of statistics. Use my you know, videos and whatnot. But gosh, you, you, can't, you, you can't completely neglect statistics. It's a minor topic on the SAT. But most of the questions on statistics are basic definitions. And you'd think that maximum is something you would know outside of statistics, but apparently not. And now I've also told you the other one, right? The mode is the most common number in the data set. And right, that's what this chart is doing is it's telling us how often each number appears, right? So there are three sixes, three sevens, eight eights, eight nines, right? And so there are four, there are six 14s. The number 14 shows up in the set six times, but I don't care how many times it shows up. I just care, even if it just showed up once, it is the largest value in this data set. So uh, yeah just to throw in one more potential trap they didn't do, but what if instead of zero, this was 20, right? Then people are going to think that 13 is the maximum because that's the most common number and that that seems to be higher. But again, no, it's, it's, it's still the 14. But also I think if 20 were there, people would put 20 as the maximum because they don't understand the two columns. Frequency charts are telling you on the, usually on the left, what the values are in the set. And instead of listing out 57 data values, we condense it and we just say the number six is repeated three times. The number seven is repeated three times. I know I'm going off and off about this, but it, it's amazing to me how many people don't know very basic things about statistics. A frequency chart is a basic way of displaying data and maximum is a very simple idea that we need to be able to extract from data sets.